So I found this display in my storage. It's a Raspberry Pi PCD8544 Shield version 2 display by ArduinoKing.com. And it is one of those regular Nokia displays that are repurposed for this kind of display for Raspberry Pis and other devices really this should it just uses this standard GPIO pins so it should also work with Arduino and other devices like that as well and actually here if we look here on the back you can see that it is PCD8544 and the resolution is 48 by 84 pixels matrix LCD so that means also that it is of course black and white only. Uh, these displays are commonly used in a lot of old Nokia devices. Some classics like 3310, 3210 and maybe something like 5110. So we will be using my Raspberry Pi for this. This is number 3. I used to label these so that I can distinguish which one is which. I have like several dozen of these I think. This one is a model B plus version 1.2 so kind of an old one it's uh, from 2014 and looks like it has the HDMI on the side here the three and a half millimeter audio four USBs so that is it's pretty beefy for what we are going to be doing because we are pretty much just using it for the display so something really low power would you would be suitable for this one and yeah it uses the micro SD card rather than the full-size SD card that we have in the older models but yeah uh, since this is just a shield it should be really easy to just Plop it in here, just like this, and there we go. That is really all the installation that is needed, because really uh, all, everything is run by software. And just yeah, just put this on the pins. Okay, so next up, let's install the software. Alright, so now I have installed all the software for the screen and let me tell you, it was quite an adventure. So it took me around two or three hours to get this everything set up. So my initial thought was that since uh, this is a uh, kind of a common display really, uh, these Nokia displays are used quite often in Raspberry Pi stuff. I thought I could just use some ready-made libraries. So a couple of I found were one from Adafruit, which seemed quite good. And uh, they had really good instruction as, uh, as always. But really it didn't work with this device at all. I got some weird errors and it just... The pinouts didn't seem to make any sense. And also I tried uh, this library called Luma LCD. Again, same thing really. It had way more configuration though than Adafruit, but still it, I looked into all the pinouts and everything and really I thought I was missing something. They just didn't seem to make any sense. But anyway, uh, as it turns out, this uh, device that I had was a, a really weird version of the screen because uh, it was made by ArduinoKing.com, which, by the way, doesn't exist anymore. You cannot go there, so finding documentation for this device was a pretty hard task. But then, in the end, I found this Chinese reseller for these devices, and they had a PDF and some C code that works with this device. Fortunately, really, because, man, it was it really hard to find. But yeah, I just happened to come across it in the Google after two or three hours of trying different libraries and whatever. But yeah, in the end, the issue was that um, this was a kind of a weird version of the 
the regular PCD8544. This one uses uh, different pinouts and uh, according to the Chinese website you have to enable something called SPI emulation for it to work correctly because it's it's supposed to be an SPI interface but the pins are different so you have to kind of have to emulate them by rewriting the pins and so on but anyway that is all now done and now we have the code right here for so you can see how it looks the display let's first start off with the default uh, default display uh, CPU show it should show some in information regarding the system and some general information really uh, I noticed that the center lines on the display there's something wrong with there I think my display might be there might be something wrong with it or maybe it's this software I, I don't I'm not quite sure but I should check it out before I put this to use yeah so that's that and then I also had some little some my personal example code here you can see you can write some text and other information there but yeah that's all for now that was my showcase of the PCD8544 display for the Raspberry Pi and yeah thank you for watching and on to the next one